Bowl, Philadelphia, now moving on toward New York City. It's blazing parts of the Carolinas with ice as well. This is what it looks like right now around D.C. at this hour. We have a complete live report on all the action coming up in moments. Take a look at what you can expect from this President's Day storm. Major snowfall hitting the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast. Ice and a winter mix will hit parts of the Southeast with the Carolinas getting the brunt of it. This storm will last through Tuesday. We'll give you all the details coming up right now. Hello and welcome to Weather Center. A lot to talk about today. Glad you're here. I'm Paul Emick. And I'm Lisa Moser. Thanks so much for tuning in here at the bottom of the hour. We continue to bring you the very latest on this snowstorm. Uh, the snowfall has shut down much of Washington, D.C. Let's take a look at some of the numbers and then check in with our very own Mike Seidel. This is what we're looking like at this hour. Keep in mind that this has been an all-day event. It will continue through much of the day tomorrow. Silver Springs, Maryland, 18.5 inches of snow on the ground. Cape May, New Jersey, coming in with 11.2 inches of snow on the ground. The snow is expected to push into uh, New York City this afternoon, beginning to see some accumulation. And then tomorrow, of course, uh, the Boston area. Our very own Mike Seidel has been in Washington, D.C. at the mall. Mike, how's it going? It's going okay, Lisa. A cold, windy, snowy afternoon. And get this, the average snowfall here in Washington for the entire season is 17 inches. Before this storm started, yesterday were the a little bit of snow we had yesterday. We'd already had over that. We'd had a little over 18 inches, and now we're probably going to close to double that total. So pretty amazing numbers, and this could be number three, number two, or three, or four all time on the record books. The number 10 storm ranked is 13.7, and we're going to do better than that. That's uh, almost a certain. You saw the totals Lisa just showed you. Let's show you some of the scenes around Washington as people are trying to get out and get moving. Little uh, elbow grease, little friends, uh, maybe some Folks walking up the street getting cars, green powder you see out in the western mountains. And the other difference is the wind. We're going to have some blowing and drifting of the snow and a lot of problems, as we'll allude to in the studio, out on the coast. Lisa? Mike, as you alluded to, it's pretty cold out there. The wind chills have kept the temperatures in the single digits. How are you faring? Very impressive area of high pressure. Let me tell you that the wind coming on the front side out of the northeast has wedged into uh, the Carolinas and then aloft, of course, we're getting a lot of that warm southerly flow, moisture overrunning it, and that's been causing the icy scenario and also what's been causing the very light, fluffy snow that continues to blow and drift around across the mid-Atlantic. Now, I want to keep you uh, posted on this area of low pressure out here towards the Kentucky area because this low will not much longer be the dominant weather maker. We've got a new low that's going to reposition itself over the Atlantic and then track to the northeast through the day tomorrow. So more snow across the northeast, including D.C., and then, of course, getting hit last, Boston. What a doozy of a weather maker this has been and will continue to be this weekend, this holiday weekend. Gale Storm.